Hey guys, this is the real spot in 9001 here, and I'm back for episode, um, uh, what, what episode is this? Nine? Maybe? Okay. Fine, let's just go with that. Uh, <clears throat> uh today we're gonna be fighting Markuba. Yeah. So Mokubo is used, going to be using a uh, Thunder monsters, so they're going to have a lot of attack, low HP. So hopefully I should be able to take out everything she has, or he has, he has in one hit. Jeez, I'm a complete fool. Welcome to my stage, Yugi. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a capsule monsters expert. Oh uh, yeah, totally. When we played before, didn't I defeat you? Uh, well, whatever. Dark side fill in her nutshell right there. That's all in the past. I've gotten a lot better since then. Okay, I believe you. There's no need to yell. I myself am a former pro fighting game player. What if Yugi just said, uh, oh, yeah, no thanks, you know, let, I'll just go on without you, you know. He doesn't really have an option anyway. So, yeah, of course, gonna try and attack first in every match, except for, like, one of them, uh, at the, uh, far end of this, uh, you know, this, um, uh, 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 game. So let's see, thunder, 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 wind, wind, thunder. Uh, thunder does not give any boost to wind, so yeah. It's kind of confusing why she has wind monsters, but you know, wind monsters are okay. Mm. Now we start to see the crippling effects of the MP limit. I want to get One-Eyed Shield Dragon out to get some XP. You know what, I'm going to take out Mechanical Snail for this fight. He's level 5 anyway, he doesn't need any more experience for a while. Should I take out Firegrass? Maybe. Mm, okay, I'll take out a Droll Bird. Not the one that's like uh, level 4 though. What's the experience difference in these? Like 45. Fire Reaper or Fire Grass? 47 XP. 98 XP. Okay, I'll take out Fire Grass. The strong get stronger. Spots place my symbol, of course. It'll just be in the center because I have OCD, kind of. Let's see. I believe uh, Mokuba's got a Droll Bird. There it is. And a Wicked Dragon. Okay. I'll place a draw bird here. I can place one eyed shield dragon on the other side. Actually, you know what? I'll place a harpy lady here. Crow goblin. No, what am I thinking? Baby dragon goes here. Because uh, I think that one eyed shield dragon would need more help than. Uh, uh, Harpy Lady. So, Fire Grass, you can go up here, I guess. Karama can go in the middle, because I have really nowhere else to put it. And Droll Bird can also go here. Okay, so. Uh, six Wind Monsters and one Fire Monster. I did say I'll mostly be using wind monsters because they're practically better than fire monsters until, it's you know. Fire monsters get really powerful later on too. Uh, why must I be tired at the start of every recording? It doesn't even make any sense. 90 AP is... actually that's probably not the best use. Should some baby dragon. Whatever. Duelist, 
Uh huh, totally. Despite the fact your symbol is level 1. You know what, I bet this game would be practically impossible if uh, enemy deck leaders... I actually forget that I said that because uh, their deck leaders are maybe level 1. Or should I say symbols because this isn't cap, I mean, isn't Duels of Roses. They may be level 1. But they have the powers of his stronger pieces, even though this is kind of basically a level 1. Except it has quite a bit of base AP. Also, why is there sun in this map? Okay, doesn't make sense, but, you know. Hmm, what do I summon now? Maybe, uh, summon Baby Dragon with the rest of that AP? Hang on, 85. That would give me some. You know, I probably should have summoned Karama. That was probably the most AP per uh, thing I'd get. And down to zero AP. Okay, wonderful. Uh, the later and later it goes, the more turns it takes for me to summon all my creatures. Enemy turn, yeah, we know this. Mocha was still using some level stage 1 monsters, like that Steel Scorpion. Yeah, totally expert duelist. You didn't even summon any of those two monsters you got. One of them which is Shovel Crusher, because I remember. The other one is another Kamenari Kazo. I mean, you could summon them. There's no downside. You, you actually get more AP+. Plus. Ugh, this stage only has 450 max AP. That sucks. And draw word go. Now I need to be careful of Kaminari Kazo's ability to attack at very long range. Two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm not even in the right uh, area of effect to be hit. 125. Uh, I can't move both of these. One, two, three, one, two. I'll move Karema here just in case. Even though it's probably like the worst spot to possibly move it. Symbol can stay there. Time is exactly 5 p.m. right now. 5 p.m. of the same day it was uploaded because, you know, I haven't recorded anything in prior to today, so, yeah, I have to record. I mean, uh, technically I don't have to record because I don't make any cash off this. Because, you know, I'm not famous or anything. I don't really have many viewers, but... You know, channels evolve over time. I was late to the party of Let's Playing. And, you know... I probably should have started this, like, two years back at when I said I was going to. But, yeah, whatever. Now what could hit me if I move here? One, two, one, two... Not even in the grid to hit be hit by that. Uh, not enough range. Of course I can be hit by a Wicked Dragon, so that's... 136 minus 40 is 96. That's leave me with 100 HP left. Okay, I'm fine with that. And 150 damage. I've eliminated your first monster. So you destroyed my monster. So what? You shouldn't start two sentences in a row with the same word. That's bad grammar. Well, it's not bad ground, but it's bad word etiquette. Could use noble power to move uh, to a better position. You know what? Uh, where could I move? I could move here. That would kind of put me on a different grid. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure, I'll use noble power. I'm not going to be using that much, though. Now, I want to move Baby Dragon off here. Quickly. Brahma can go over here, because I don't need him anywhere else. He's just kind of a waste of space at the moment. If I lose, no, I can't think like that. I have to win. I must draw shield crush. Should be talking right now, but I think I really have said enough. Strategy games aren't really that excellent to talk over, considering the fact that there's usually stages where pretty much nothing is happening. But, you know, if I don't talk over strategy games, who will? The answer is, no one. Well, there are some people who will, but, you know, I like strategy games, uh, but I've said that too many times right now. Shut up, Yugi. Even though you probably are the best of the protagonists in the series, but you still need to shut up. Crow Goblin has 20, 255 attack power. That's awesome. Eventually he'll have like 400, but, you know, it'll be a while until he has that much. So let's see. If I move here and attack Wicked Dragon, I'll definitely be able to take him down. Or will I? Let's just check. Yeah, we'll be able to take him down. But, will I be able to survive? One, two, no, I will not be able to. That's kind of a smart play there. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failure to recognize it. So basically, Droll Bird and Fire Grass aren't going to do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Can't move. So basically, Fire Grass will do nothing. So basically, I'm a complete liar because I can't math. I wish I had more AP plus, or, or, or just well, more AP in general, a higher AP cap. Ugh, I can't math. I can't speak. I can't move. I'm out of, I'm out of voice. I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. I am Shrek. Really worthwhile move there, Morikuba. So let's see, uh, one, two, one, two, three. Yep, pretty much can't move again. Hang on. One, two, three, attack. God damn it, I can't move there either. Need to move Crow Goblin back. To avoid being killed by a. Oh well, hit by. Stupid Kaminari Kazo. One, two, one, two, not, not in the right thing again. Okay, that's good. It's good for me. That's a good step right there. Happy lady, go there. Uh, I'm gonna need to do an assault soon. I want to avoid any of my pieces being damaged unless it's, it's absolutely necessary. Also, I need to start actually using my other arm to support myself while I'm lying down here. I probably should, you know, record this on a... put my laptop on a table or something, but, uh... 
you know, I prefer this. Okay. So I'm ready to make my move. First off. There we go. Shovel Crusher is vanquished. Yes, you know, losing to the best player in the whole galaxy is humiliating. Nope, not doing that. I wouldn't have done that anyway, because Steel Scorpion still does more damage. One EXP, nice. Let's just make sure I'm still on the uh, other side of the track. I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be closing up soon, and even if it doesn't, I don't really care because it isn't that much damage. Uh, Drollbird, take the hit for me. My left arm is really sore, and I don't know why. Maybe I was sleeping on it or something. I mean, I haven't been doing anything strenuous recently. 117! I, wasn't... I was concentrating. You're attacking Kerala? That's confusing. Hang on, did Mokuba just move her piece so that Kerala can destroy it? That's confusing if he did. We've already dealt with electricity damage before. So now, I need to get some XP into these uh, creatures. Harpy Lady will be staying for longer, so Harpy Lady can get a kill. And there's the sound of the washing machine going off. I don't know if that'll come up in the recording or not. Or was it the dryer? I don't know. Um... There is literally no point in me moving uh, One-Eyed Shield Dragon towards. You know, if you're just going to throw your symbol at me, I might as well take it. I wasn't, until you decided to basically give me the win by letting me smash it. It's just like leaving your king out in public in chess, except the board is massive and things take more than one kill to hit. I mean, uh, um, uh... You were just lucky. I've defeated you many times. I doubt it was just luck. Yeah, my crit chance is through the roof. Oh, oh my god, oh, insert some air horns here, except I'm not going to because, you know, uh, the, uh, they don't have the assets to, really. I probably should do that, you know, eventually for another episode later. You know, as if we didn't know. If I face him in this tournament, he will pose a formidable challenge. Yeah, if... You know he's going to be the last guy. And Karama gets more symbol A rate. Basically, gets even more strong. More strengthier.
and more experience and Crow Goblin has 101 experience. Fire Grass becomes better in some ways. Goldberg becomes better. Basically everything becomes better, nothing becomes worse. You know what, I probably should have destroyed Wicked Dragon so I could, you know, take it, but you know, I, I kinda don't care. I, I think it was that point in time where I stopped caring. I can't imitate Joel at all. Uh. Yes, I want to overwrite this file. Sorry for the yawning, you know. I don't know why I'm tired like this. Maybe it's because I'm talking a lot. But talking doesn't make me tired. There is some scientific explanation why I'm yawning all this time. I don't know. I have enough energy. I don't even really need any energy to record because I'm not one of those super hyper energetic YouTubers like uh, the ones that everybody watches these days. Except for me, I don't really watch energetic Let's Players. Or at least hyper energetic ones. So next time we face Rex Raptor in the basically last one of this stage. So see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.